Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Iron Man progress video. This is episode number 69. For the episode ahead, I think it's going to be once again a mix of Slayer, boss tasks and skilling. I've got the second half of my Armadil task from the last episode to finish up. So that'll be another 20 odd Kriara kills. So see if we can get anything to add to the Armadil God Sword that we finished off in the last episode. And then on the skilling side of things, would be nice to start working on construction. I did say in the last episode I was going to do that and I didn't end up doing that. So may end up going straight for 90 in this episode. And I also want to finish up getting the rest of the more my fungus that I need for 99 herb lore and might throw in some rune crafting and agility as well. We shall see. Sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. All right, that was going to be the last kill of the task. No drops, but I wasn't particularly expecting anything having just got the armadillo hilt and finishing up on 281 Cree kills overall. Who knows, might get another task this episode and uh, come back again and try and get the helmet or the plate skirt. Well, going straight back to armadillo. The Slayer Cape perk allowed me to get the Aviancy task back to back, 244. So almost the maximum, so that'll be nearly 50 Cree kills to add on to my total. So that'll take us well over 300 overall. So I came back to God Wars, um, but I'm actually at Bandos, not Armadil. Decided to come and do a trip and see how I got on. And I got a God Sword Shard 2 off of uh, Grador, which is quite good because I do need another one of those to make another blade. So um, yeah, just trying to get the Mage Flicking method down. It's doing alright so far, 3 kills so far this trip, and hopefully I'll get better at it soon. So I finally got around to making all of the planks that I'm going to need for 90 construction. It's about 15,000 teak planks and just over 7,000 mahoganys. That is actually all of my mahogany planks and logs I had in the bank. Um, I had taken that into account when I was figuring out how many logs or planks that I would need for 99. Um, so after I've used all of that up, these 86,000 teak logs will be enough for the nine levels from 90 to 99. Making these was actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be and I definitely think that construction is gonna be the next 99 after I finish up Herb Law. It's such useful cape, I, I think just knocking it out even though it's gonna be very expensive will certainly be worth it. Not sure if I've mentioned it previously but with the teak planks I'm not actually gonna be using the myth cape method because I've tried that previously and I've just found it so fiddly that I'm actually perfectly happy spending a bit more money and using more teak logs just doing the gnome benches in the formal garden or the superior garden, I can't remember exactly what it's called. Um, I think it's on par XP rates, probably better XP for me considering how <laughs> tricky I was finding the myth cape uh, method. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be going with going forward just because I think it's a, an easier, more relaxing method. First level coming in, that is 85 construction. Five levels left to go. This is much quicker than I remembered it being. I thought it was going to be about 300k XP an hour, but it's actually turning out to be uh, around 400, 410k an hour, which is ridiculously fast. Yeah, so only a couple more hours using up the teak planks, and then maybe in an hour, an hour and a half on the mahoganys, and I'll be completely done. So there is 86, four to go. There's 87, 88. And there is 89, one to go. 90 construction. So only two levels, or sorry, two skills left to go now until base 90s, being rune crafting and agility, obviously saving the best ones to last. In terms of anything that I can get at 90 construction that might be useful, I guess the only thing really is with a plus five boost, I can create a combined spirit tree and fairy ring for my house, which will save a room. Um, but otherwise, nothing particularly uh, notable beside that. The XP per hour was ridiculous. I was getting like 830k using uh, the mahogany tables as a training method and that definitely wasn't even as uh, as good as it could have been. Definitely messing up some of the ticks. Um, but these are the mahogany logs I've got left so not much XP stored there. As I said it will be teaks all the way to 99 from here on out. All right so I've got a hard clue. This is actually number 300 which will unlock the Uri Transform emote. Can we get anything good to go alongside it? Ouch. <laughs> That's actually really, really bad. But the emote's pretty cool, so let's check that out. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. And that's my second 
um, clue scroll um, milestone unlock the first one being the giant spade that you get from easy's got a fletching level coming in that is 93 all right, well, that is all of the fletching done. In the end, about 200k XP off of 95. I got the level 94 on mobile while I was doing the darts, and it's just under 11 mil in Alks, which is really nice, and a decent chunk of darts as well to add to the collection. So not too sure where I'll be getting my fletching XP from next. I was thinking about doing a lot of broad arrows, so I actually do have a lot of arrow shafts, and I've started making some headless arrows um, just here and there but not in any rush to train the skill particularly. Might rush 95 because I'm pretty close to the level, but other than 99, um, not really in a massive rush to get that one. That was my 300th kill at Armadil God Wars. Still not seen a unique since getting the Armadil chest plate, but hopefully we'll pick up something soon. Still got over half the task left, so fingers crossed. What I said in the last clip was nonsense, of course, because we did get the hilt. I completely forgot about that. Well, just got a God Sword Shard 1 off a minion, which is good because that means I now have a second blade when I get a second hilt. Alright, well that is the last kill of the task. Nothing to show for it other than the God Sword Shard, which is a shame. Hopefully we'll be back here again soon. Seeing as I was pretty close to the level, I figured I would just knock it out. So that is 95 fletching and I can now make dragon darts without needing to boost, which is quite handy. I had no idea how good the XP per hour was when actually making the broad arrows. It was about 425k per hour, which is really good. But then obviously you have to take into consideration the time it takes to cut the logs and then add the feathers to make the headless arrows. But yeah, it probably will be what I end up doing all the way to 99. It'll probably cost 25 mil or so, which is quite pricey, but it is very quick. I was wondering if I'd be able to find a use for my dehyde shield that I got from the hard clue and turns out it's actually my best in slot magic defense shield. Previously I was having to use an elemental shield for kraken tasks but I can use this going forward which is pretty cool. Alright got an elite clue from kraken what can we get? A whole lot of nothing. Hey got ourselves another kraken tentacle getting very close to 10 to upgrade the trident I think this is my eighth one might possibly be the ninth. I'll have to double check when I bank, but that is a very nice sight to see. And it is number eight, so two to go, and I can upgrade the trident. All right, we picked up another greater demon task, so we're going to finish off the episode with some Zami looking for the hilt, of course, and I think this will take us over a thousand KC, so fingers crossed we can get it. All right, well, that is the first drop of the task, just three kills in, my third staff of the dead. I'm pretty sure it has an equal drop rate to the hilt, so that is pretty unfortunate. All right, well, that is kill number 900. Still not seen the hilt, obviously, but hopefully we can get it before 1000 KC. All right, well, that is the second drop of the task, and it is another Zami Spear. And we're coming in with another Steam Battle Staff. I think that is my 11th one now. Getting a Rune Square Shield from Krill is over... A 1 in 1k drop rate. It's pretty damn rare. It's no hilt. Alright, officially reached 1000 KC. Still no hilt. Honestly cannot believe that I've done 1000 Krill kills to be perfectly honest. I thought I'd be done and dusted a long time before this. Um, about 5 more kills left. Let's see if we can get the hilt before the end of the task. Alright, well this is going to be the last kill of the task. Actually ended up being a really good trip. That's my 10th kill. The trip, what can we get? Absolutely nothing. Finishing on 1,005 KC. Gonna have to come back sometime soon, I think, and try and try and get the hill. I'm very, very dry. And that is it for today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed watching. I have literally just picked up a back-to-back -back Greater Demon task with my Slayer Cape. So in the next episode, probably gonna head back to Zami and see if we can uh, finish up getting the hilt from there but actually the main priorities for the next episode is going to be firstly completing Song of the Elves and exploring some of the new content in Priftiness and then cracking on with Herb Lore because I do want to get 99 in the next episode. Still haven't collected the rest of the Mort My Fungus that I need but once I have that um, I can just start making the potions and working towards 99. Thanks again for watching and until next time take care.
Thank you.